fantastic. I'm really, really pleased to bring everyone on the stage tonight. They're so funny, so funny, and I'm like, and so many of them are people from Seattle that I don't get to see all the time, so it's very special to me. So, but the first comic coming to the stage is not actually from Seattle. He's here from Portland, but he's very special to me. I like him a lot, and he's very funny. Everyone, please put your hands together, one and all, for Vanu Matra. <laughs> Thank you all very much for coming tonight. Thank you all. Give yourself a round of applause. Please do that. Yes. Only the sound of one hand clapping, though. No, no actual noises, please. Um, welcome to the Tonic National Gallery, everyone. Um, before I begin tonight's um, Pedagogic Humor Symposium, uh, I want you all to please rise for a special announcement real quick. Please rise on your feet. Please, everyone, if we can do this, this is a very important announcement to make. Please, thank you all very much. My name is Kyle Silva, and I'm a performance artist. <laughs> all right, y'all can sit down. Y'all can sit down now. It's not usually the response I get. Usually there's a standing ovation, because you're all standing anyway, so you're applauding. <laughs> Uh, usually someone gives me the firstborn child. I then sell that for organs. Uh, just kidding, Vanu Patrol wrote that joke for me. Uh, I'm his mentor, Carl Silva, as I said. I'm sorry he couldn't make it this evening. Uh, he actually injured his pineal gland. Uh, uh, during our ritual poetic uh, metabation ceremony. Uh, for those of you, I taught him this. I feel really bad. Uh, Meditation is when you combine transcendental meditation with masturbation. <laughs> and then, right before you climax, you open a window and blurt out a 12 stanza poem. <laughs> As an act of compassion, and he got a concussion. Uh, so... Uh, he wrote that as well, uh, but he's in the hospital right now, uh, critical condition. Uh, please, everyone sign uh, his muscle t-shirt in the back. Uh, it's really dear to him. He's got a really bad joke about it. Um, so why am I here, right? Uh, we all know who I am, right? Obviously very important, the, uh, the, the, the art scene internationally, not so much in Portland. I'm not getting a lot of love here. Um, uh, I don't know, but I did actually, uh, I have had the honor of working with uh, uh, some uh, local legends. Um, and by some local legends, I mean the North Portland rap ska band, some local legends. Uh, you know, you know, we, uh, you know, we call it scrap music in the alleyways. Uh, uh, scrap uh, or scra. Uh, and I, I, I just do my movements while they play. Uh, it's very important to me. I like it a lot because you know it, it combines it combines you know like the uh, like uh, the uh, the urban uh, the rhythmic urban dance culture with poetry uh, dance music with poetry, which of course, as we all know, is ska music. Uh, with uh, rap music, which, as we all know, is just jazz. That's just jazz. It's just jazz. Whole thing is jazz. They even call it jazz in rap communities. I've been there. All right. You know. You know. Take. Do this for yourself. Play a tribe called Quest record, then play a Charles Mingus record together, and then just turn up the volume of the Charles Mingus record really loud, and you'll just, it'll be the same thing. It'll be the same thing. <laughs> Uh, well, I, uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you my latest and greatest work in the performative art field that I created for myself. It's called tableauism. I'm a tableauist. Uh, what that means is I've uh, boiled down all of life into its essential gestures. And so I'm just going to give you a snippet of my greatest achievement uh, of all time. Uh, you know, I'm still waiting for uh, a national endowment uh, or an arts grant for it, but maybe tonight will be the night. So. Uh, it's entitled Photo Album. Was the season full love and loving? All right, you're in for a treat, guys. So I'm just gonna do the first one for you, and then I'll get off stage. Okay? Thank you all very much.
shape, shift. <laughs> Darkness Falls, 1973 acrylic thought, Chaco Ega. It was the winter of 1973, and I was performing my most risque public performance in the Tenderloin of New York City, in which I was smearing dark shit all over my genitals. I had my fan base there, the usual Sally Vader was there, she's the world's most renowned uh, spit volume uh, uh, competitor. She's won many awards. Just volume, not distance, though. She's working on that. Uh, Sven89, uh, kind of the proto Bavarian science guy. Uh, and uh, of course, my biggest fan, uh, a trash can on fire. Because uh, we were all homeless at the time. When, uh, who should arrive in his BMW M1? Right there on the curb. That's right, you guessed it. Andy Warhol! <laughs> right? I can tell he was a big fan of me, you know, because he just, he opened his car door, he beckoned me in with his eyes. I knew it was time for me to sit down and grace this legend with my talents. There's so much I wanted to say, like, y'all, you're such a big inspiration to me. You're the greatest artist of our generation. I love you so much, but I didn't do that because I have self-respect and integrity. So I just looked in the eyes, and the tension was palpable. You know, like, uh, it's just so many emotions just flooding through both of us. And we both knew what we needed to do with our minds and our bodies. So I did what came natural to me. I'm going to bless the presence of your idols, people. Here's a note. You gotta start sucking your own cock, okay? You gotta start sucking your own cock. So that's what I did. I started sucking my own cock right in front of Andy. He was very perturbed by it, I could tell. Uh, very alarmed, he didn't know what to do, but then he found it quite amusing. And uh, he joined in as well, and he started sucking his own cock. And there we are, in his BMW, sucking our own cocks together. And who should arrive but Alabaster Crowley, just, just you know, right after one of his blood rituals, you know, and he got in the car, because he's a proto-improviser, he was like, no way, just kidding, yes, and he got in the car, and he, he started sucking his own cock, and the three of us just started sucking our own cocks right there, and then we were like, well, we can't, because it's hard to suck, you need to, your kidneys removed, so we couldn't, we were just kind of, it was just like this, right, we couldn't actually do it, so we got on the, we got out of the car, on the street, we held hands, and then we got on our cock sixes, uh, we got on our cock sixes, we, our feet were erect, and then, we uh, just started sucking our own cocks that way, holding hands, just trying to, just trying to help each other. You know, it's just teamwork, it's togetherness. And then who should walk by, by? But Fred Phelps. Fred Phelps, an early Fred Phelps from the West Pass Pearls Church. He walked by and he saw us in a form, in a procession of two, three men sucking their own cocks. It looked like three sixes together. Uh, and then he went on to start the. Well, I think, well, there was that church that he, it was Michael Phelps, his son, right? I, anyway, uh, thank you so much. That was my thing. Um, I'll be at the Red Flag Cafe mounting my newest work. Uh, my art will be on the walls. I'll be on the walls. Uh, and you can buy it if you want. Take me home, put you, me on your wall. Uh, it'd be great. Thank you all so much. I've been Kyle Silva.